Hi there guys, so we are going to look at bibliographies, citations and footnotes. Let me show you how this works. So here I have in Microsoft Word, I have an article, well, part of an article on Mars, the planet Mars. There it is there. And where did I get this information from? I got this information from this website. Okay, this website is called Astronomy, astronomy.com. And we have an article here all about living on Mars. Now, the first thing is to create a source in Microsoft Word so that we can then use it for bibliographies, references, citations, and things like that. So here we go. I'm going to go to References. I'm already there. References. I'm going to go to Manage Sources. Manage Sources. Okay, there we go. Manage Sources. And as you can see, I have nothing here except for a placeholder that I'm going to get rid of. Don't need that. Right, so I go over here where it says new. Click on new. And now I need to say, okay, so what is the type of source? Well, the type of source that this information came from was a website. So if I go down up, oh, there it is there, website. Great. Now I need to know the author. Who is the author of this uh, information? So let's go back there. And actually, if I look over here, it's Megan Ray Nichols. Megan Ray Nichols. So that's easy um, to do. So I go here. And again, if you remember, we always do the surname of the author first, okay? Nichols, Megan Ray. There we go. Nichols, Megan Ray. Right. The name of the web page. The name of the web page. Let's go here. The name of the web page is, well, this will be the article. So if we successfully, and I'm just going to copy and paste, okay? Copy and paste. I'm just switching with Alt Tab. So much quicker. Name of the web page. There we go. The name of the website, if you remember, was astronomy is it how you spell it? yes it is astronomy okay cool um just yes there it is there cool then the date so i have wednesday uh the third of may 2017 the third of may 2017 so we put the year there uh may and the third there we go and then of course the url the address of the web page there it is over there just copy that and paste that in there so here we have a pretty basic source that we've now added to our word document this is very very useful because this you're going to use okay i'm going to show you how click ok and voila there it is there it is in the current list it, it adds it to a thing called a master list so you can use this in other documents as well but we're just going to work in this one and close now, if we want to insert a citation, super easy, the, because we have our source now added, watch this. If I have added something here and I need to add a citation, we're still in references, insert citation, there is the source that I've added. So I'm going to click over there and there it adds the citation correctly. That is what a citation is, okay? When you cite something, you reference something, you cite it like that. Okay, then we get the bibliography. Now, the bibliography, I'm just going to do, this is just one source, but I mean, normally you'd have a whole bunch of them, but I'm just doing one just for time, okay? Let's go to uh, references, and we are here by bibliography. There it is there, bibliography. Click, and we'll just do the first one just so you can see what it does, and I'll click, and it then inserts an automatic bibliography. Super, super easy, okay. If you were typing something, and you could write something like, um, Megan Ray uh, Nichols wrote an article on Mars, blah, 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 and you just wanna put a footnote there, okay? Because remember I said we're also doing footnotes. So what is a footnote? Well, a footnote is just a, a reference that you just wanna reference something and you wanna put the information on the page at the bottom of the page, in the, the footer, footnote, okay? At the bottom of the page. So again, I'm still in my references tab. Here is the footnote button. Insert footnotes, okay, it jumps down to the bottom. There's a teeny little number one over there and I can actually put the the web address there, if that's what I was referencing, for example. Okay, I'm just going to make that a little smaller. That's better. Now, have a look here. You'll notice there, if I just zoom in a bit there, Megan Ray Nichols wrote an article on Mars, blah, 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 number one. That's my first footnote. And if I scroll down to the bottom of my page, there's a line, number one, and there's my footnote. 
All right, so we've covered three things here, all right? Putting a source, references, managed sources, adding a bibliography, references, bibliography. You could also choose references as well, okay, or works cited, so it's um, just different ways of, of referencing. And we've also done a footnote as well.